Tata Motors has been in the logistics defense for a very long time and finally they had decided that they would operate across the complete spectrum of the battlefield. Therefore, what we are trying to project today over here is that Tata Motors has entered the combat vehicles field for the defense. What you see over here is Kestrel, the first Indian indigenous made wheeled armored amphibious platform. This vehicle is totally amphibious. It's got a monocoque with a welded hull and it's got inner spall lining with a protection of Stanag 4. It houses a 600 horsepower engine which could vary from 450 to 600. It's got a seating capacity for a complete mechanized stick. It's got a commander and a gunner who would be operating this. It's modular in design and can cater for up to 16 variants for what the Indian Army would be requiring. It can be used as a wheeled APC, you can call it uh, a fighting infantry wheeled vehicle. You can have it for the NBC also, you can have it for the CBRN, you can have it for as a motor carrier, as a command post vehicle. You could also make use of this for other variants also which could be used for the others also. So we're looking at nearly about 16 odd variants in this particular vehicle depending upon what the user finally wants. The power pack, like I already mentioned, is 600 horsepower. It's got an it can cater to an amphib amphibious role. It's got the water jets which are at the back over there. CTIS, completely inflatable tires. Whenever you're operating, you can deflate them or inflate them depending upon the terrain which you're operating in. And the firepower aspect, which is actually not dealt by Tata Powers, by Tata Motors, what we have or what we are showcasing is a two-man turret, which could be housed on this on a modular concept. We also have a remote weapon station, which could be housed with any set of missile systems also there. The two-man turret, which can be housed on this or a remote weapon station, it would carry a 30mm cannon on its two-man turret along with a 7.62 coaxial gun. On the remote weapon station, you can put in a 12.5 or a 14.5 gun also on there, along with the missile system. It's got a ramp for the crew as well as for the stick, which is going to get into the fighting mode to disembark. This would help for a quick move when they're coming outside over there. It's got slaved cameras inside which are actually watching or seeing outside it sees the complete battlefield so that when they're going in for a dismounted attack what happens is he's aware of the complete situation of what exactly is happening outside the kestrel has been made along with drdo as well as tata motors and this has been made in a very short span and we've been able to showcase this in the defense expo possibly there's no other indian manufacturer who would be having a vehicle of this weight category and the equipment today in India. The light armored multipurpose vehicle, otherwise known as the LAMV, has been made by Tata Motors to be fielded in one of the RFPs which will be coming out by the Indian Army. This particular vehicle caters for the recce troop of the mechanized forces. This vehicle would be operating much ahead of the major mobile forces also which are functioning. The USP of this particular vehicle is that it's got a stunag level of 2 and it caters for the crew for an absolute safe input which is here in the pod which is there which keeps the crew of 1 and 3 absolutely safe. The protection level varies in the front where you have got the engine and in the rear where you would be stowing certain aspects. When you have a look at this particular vehicle, you will see that this portion is slightly in the front, thereby catering for this pod. Because of its V-shaped hull, the aspect of service serviceability would also come in. To cater for quick serviceability, especially in the field, there are two clamps over here, which when removed in a very short time, you get a completely tiltable pod in the sense that this is just moved aside. 
it is it opens up so that if you want to service the vehicle or do anything it is all done very easily this particular vehicle also has the capability of the retractable mast for observing it's got a retractable mast which can move up 5 meters and thereby survey everything ahead and pass it on to the crew which is inside over here there are a number of options which are there which could be added on in this particular vehicle there are variants which could be thought about subsequently on a base model of this particular vehicle with this door closing in over here the pod gets completely sealed and thereby the very essence of the crew being safe in any at any time in case if there is a blast or otherwise make sure that the crew is absolutely safe over here this portion is where the storage is going to come in there's going to be a certain amount of radio sets which, which would be placed over here all the other equipment which are carried for the reconnaissance can be housed in this storage space and that's the reason why we actually have gone in for a lesser protection over here since the gross vehicle weight which has given to us is 8 tons and with a payload of 1.5 tons which was the most challenging aspect for this particular vehicle in fact this is again a, an indigenous vehicle and it has taken us a little time to get into this aspect also so when you compare our the, when you compare Tata Motors moving into the battlefield we would be operating right from the front and catering for everything from the combat zone itself the mine protected vehicle has again been made by Tata Motors and it caters for the MHA as well as for the MOD for moving into CI or counter insurgency infested areas into places where you have got a lot of the problems which are there with regard to terrorism, ambush, IEDs which are falling into place over there. This vehicle has got a V-shaped hull, can take a 21 blast, 21 kg blast under the wheel and 14 kgs under the hull. It's got seats which are inside which are blast resistant also. Weaponry system could be put as in what the user wants. We've got our own way of giving them certain amount of protection. If you have a look at the back, we have got portholes which could cater for the people who are sitting inside to fight back in case if they are ever ambushed. Ample space at the back for comf comfortable sitting for more than 10 people over here and depending upon the user we could always add or reduce the seating capacity. We got hatches on top where somebody could pop up, fire and get back inside again. This particular vehicle, this particular vehicle is an LHD which would also cater for the international market. We have already got this vehicle in an RHD and have been giving it to the Maharashtra police in Chhattisgarh and as well as in Jharkhand.